seems to have gone cold again. Uh, I'm in Eastern Grey, beautiful little village. I tore through this place uh, a, a, a few days ago on my racing Honda 50 motorcycle. And uh, you do get my sarcasm, I hope. And uh, I just thought it was worth coming back here because it's a beautiful little place. Uh, it's what we would call a hamlet. Eastern Grey, G-R-E-Y, near Malmesbury. Uh, not a village, just a collection of houses, but a lovely place. I love this old house at the end here. So here we have the Sherston of Raven. It actually um, has its source near Luckington. And this river travels down to Malmesbury and meets the Tetbury Avon, which starts near my house. Meets the two meet in Malmesbury and then carry on down to Bath and Bristol. Oh my goodness, is the sun about to come out? I do believe it is. Makes everything just a little bit uh, more scenic. Go over this little bridge that I came over on my bike. rather nice setting and on the other side of the bridge we have this little so-called boathouse because the sun we could have done without the sun actually I'm looking into it at the moment That's our beautiful house I thought I could smell some wood smoke. I don't think this is a path I'm supposed to be on though. Well, that was a little bit of a short video. But uh, we should get to see, actually in sunlight now, what a beautiful little place this is. That second house with the high chimney there. We once uh, looked at it as a possibility, a place to live. It was up for sale many years ago. I thought I'd just uh, compliment that short video of uh, Eastern Grey with a walk up part of the Foss Way. Foss Way is a road that I take people on regularly. Um, it's a Roman road. The Romans were known for building their straight roads, whereas we tend to go round corners and up and down hills. Um, the Foss Way, I think I'm right in saying, ran from Exeter in the south to Lincoln in the uh, East Midlands of England and parts of the Foss Way today are still um, open for cars to travel on their main roads secondary roads actually mostly but some of it is just a a byway which is what this is byways um, you can uh, walk on and take a horse uh, so it's interesting to know that this road basically the origins of this road the route at least was roman bluebells growing here i think this ends up with a Junction with the with the river with the river Avon. 
Bit of a gap in the hedge going into the field here. I would say that is not for humans. Anyway, keep going. Somebody else up here walking a dog. As I walk along this road, I just uh, marvel at the history, at the thought of who has walked along here over the last 2,000 years. Amazing. Well, I've just met a lady who's just told me that there are Roman settlements down here by the old mill. I've been to the old mill before, but uh, not aware of the Roman settlements. So let's have a look. I'm now going downhill, so the river must be down here somewhere. Just downstream from Eastern Grey, en route to Malmesbury. So the river is a little bit wider here, ambling along. Apparently there was a mill here. You can see why a mill might have been here and also why people who built this road might have wanted to have had a few people settle around here. So as far as I can see, according to this uh, notice, the town, such as it was, would have been here. The river is uh, right behind us. Basically it says that uh, here at Eastern Grey, Evidence of a small Roman town was first established on an important river crossing and possibly had ramparts, four gates and stone buildings. The Roman settlement here survives as a complex of buried features such as building foundations, streets, rubbish pits and dishes. Roman finds from the area such as ceramics, roof tile, coins and sculpture fragments indicate that the site was occupied between the 1st and 4th centuries AD. The most recent excavations close to the river revealed substantial and well-built stone structures. It has been suggested that the settlement may have had a military origin, perhaps as a fort, protecting the communications and supply routes along the Foss Way. Well, how interesting is that? Now it's time for me to walk back. Evidence that the GGs have been down here. You can't really see gradients on these cameras, but we're going up quite a steep hill now. So 2,000 years ago, this uh, road, the Foss Way, was cut through forest, I'm going to say. Certainly wouldn't have been fields like this. Uh, most of our forest disappeared to build ships for our navy. But now it's, uh, as you can see on both sides of this road, it's a field for crops. Something growing in there, I don't quite know what. It looks the colour of barley, but it's very young at the moment. Would the Roman legions have sounded something like this? I just googled how far a Roman soldier would be expected to march in a day. And basically it's give or take about 20 miles. That would kill me. 
just coming to the end of my route march. Hope you found this video interesting. Um, I'm always grateful for a thumbs up, a comment, and even more a subscription if you'd like to see more, more videos. Um, if you're watching this on, on my blog, uh, you can only do a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe if you're actually watching it on YouTube. So you can switch to watching it on YouTube if you want to. Thanks for watching. Just as a little postscript. I've always liked this little church at Foxley, which is near Malmesbury. So uh, I thought I'd just stop here a second. Um, looks to me, and I, I don't know this for, sh for certain, but this looks to me like a manor ter church. The church would have been built by the uh, manor house, which is next door. So uh, the people who worked for the Lord of the manor would have uh, been required to come to church on a Sunday. And uh, in the collection, they put their hard earned wages, which went, guess what, back to the land landlord. The church dates back to the 12th century. Um, I believe the pews inside are 17th century, 1600s. So it's quite a historic old church, but I, I really don't know if it's in use. Amazing door. COVID-19 warnings. And yeah, the door opens to see the pews that came in in the 1600s. The font is apparently 12th century. What a beautiful little church. Incredible screen. An oasis of peace. Old Bible. Couple of stained glass windows. A list of the rectors of Foxley Church going back to 1334. Amazing. Well, what a enjoyable morning out for the tour guide who has no work. And putting all this stuff in the bank, I don't mean uh, the money bank, memory bank I'm talking about, because I've found so many new places to bring people. And doesn't the uh, wisteria look beautiful on this uh, old house?
So how many PS's and and finally can there be in one video? So this is where the River Avon, the Sherston Avon, flows to Malmesbury, into Malmesbury. And uh, it joins the Tetbury Avon just about half a mile from here. Here is the water meadow with Malmesbury Abbey up on the hill over here. I should have to do another video of this.